Hello everyone, Metal Canyon here. Something completely different now, because, well, I thought people might want to have some fun. I like to uh, check out my games queue uh, in Steam, because, you know, sometimes you get something quite interesting, and sometimes you get real gems and have a bit of a laugh. So, I saw this game, right? Air Fighter. And I looked, oh, well, you know, that, that's kind of cool. I, I kind of like stuff like this. Uh, simulators and you know it looks interesting but it looks pretty bare bones and then I saw oh wait a second it says air fighter is a free 3d game in which you can fly your personal plane from World War two and take part in air battles against other planes apparently they gave out uh, personal planes in World War two that's quite interesting and it's you know it, uh, and I look at this I'm like wait a second this is a screenshot from a YouTube video I mean it doesn't look half bad but if it's free you know it's free no wonder it's positive wait a second it's not free it's three euros 29 cents that's <laughs> that's not free so let's look at the video shall we <clears throat> this is gonna be exciting I'm not gonna make it full screen cuz uh, well yeah might, might as well make it full screen why not oh that was a uh, poof so uh, extremely detailed environment as you can see no variation in Prop speed, I guess. Turning is weird. He's not really banking, he's just mostly using the rudder, it seems. Okay, there's some fighting going on there. Mmm, exciting so far. Oh. Okay, sound travels instantly. He's getting attacked, and... <laughs> Excellent first part of the video. That was the first almost one minute of the video showcasing the game. Shooting down one plane and then just saying, Eh, I, I just don't want to do this. Let me just crash into the ground. <laughs> okay, some anti-air defenses. And, oh, now he's actually shooting rooting. So the, um, the bullets impacting the player's plane actually don't sound that bad. The guns... I think they're called, like, mini-cannons. Sounds... ugh. I kinda like the lighting effects. Anyway, <clears throat> you get the gist of the idea. It, it doesn't... I mean, you know, it's not that great looking. But anyway, what's really awesome are the, uh... <laughs> Uh, the review. So, Air Fighter is a free 3D game in which you can fly in your personal plane for World War II and take part in air battles against other planes. It's not free, and you don't really get a personal plane. Your goal is to fly your plane in the heat of battle with one goal. Exterminate the enemy to become the winner. Also, that is a capital missing, but that's fine. Your fighter is equipped with mini cannons. Okay, like machine guns? And missiles. What? I'm pretty sure those were fairly experimental in World War II. That will help you destroy the enemy fighters. Or destroy enemy fighters. You can also use power boost. Ah, so very realistic. To quickly adjust the aircraft's speed to get closer to the enemy. These features alone will make this game stand out from any other flight simulation game available in the store. <laughs> yeah, I, I can completely see that. The screen radar will help you a lot in this flight simulation. It's not a simulation, it's completely arcadey game so that you can find your enemy and join the battle. There are two different way uh, views that you can choose to view the battle. Behind the plane or from the cockpit. Oh, so there is a cockpit view. A fun and addictive flight simulator is waiting for you to take command. So, I I'm guessing, you know, English is probably not their first language, but that's fine. We're not going to judge. So let's look at the reviews. Air Fighter is a pilot simulator. We will have to destroy Hitler's Air Force in our personal plane. It's not a personal plane. The gameplay is based on flying into a combat zone and uh, as a pilot. Enemy squadrons have completely taken over the sky, but we must shoot down as many planes as possible to increase our kill count as well as our score. The game made on Unity looks good, but I hope that in the future the developer will add, for example, a new models of planes, maps, and of course multiplayer if possible. So, yeah, kind of an odd review to be honest. Um, it just reads a bit like an ad, but that's fine. A very good game. If there was an online mode, it would be great. And so, while we are content with only a single mode... Okay. I think this game has a good future. I advise you to buy and enjoy this masterpiece for yourself. Five out of five. Okay. <laughs> Some masterpiece. 
And I think this is like the only sort of real review here. Air Fighter is a simple arena fighter flight sim that seems to have been assembled from a bunch of Unity assets flipped plane models. The control scheme is laughably awkward and bad, as we've seen in the video. The terrain is conspicuously minimalist, yep, and clashes with the higher quality of asset flip models. Yeah, the planes looked okay, <coughs> and the terrain is just bleh. The controls can't be customized properly, and they're so poor the game is borderline, borderline unplayable. Keys were sold in bulk to cheap game bundle sellers, and the game features a number of samey reviews from compromised accounts, all with the same broken English, making this look highly suspicious. Now. I cannot really attest to to this whether you know keys were sold in bulk to cheap game bundle sellers, but we can certainly see that the um, game features a number of samey reviews from compromised accounts. We'll uh, get more onto that uh, in just a bit. Regardless, the poor quality of the game itself is enough to disqualify this from any recommendation. So you know, pretty pretty helpful review here. Uh, so let's see the next one. An exciting game where you just fly on a plane from the Second World War with miniguns on board and take part in battles with other planes. Developers, add the ability to change the plane and customize the weapon. Okay, I can kind of see this being a normal review. An interesting game that will take more than an one evening of your attention. In particular, I would like to pay attention to the soundtrack, which creates the atmosphere of a real battle in the sky and the fragrance of... <laughs> <laughs> of which feels the combat power of military equipment. You know, whenever I play World War II simulator games, I always think, man, I wish this had a soundtrack that would give me the real atmosphere of a real battle. And, you know, because every World War II pilot was listening to the music. Now, don't get me wrong, I love me a good soundtrack, uh, even in an environment like this, but come on. It's not a real battle, then. Uh, anyway, but, yeah, especially what I like in my games is the fragrance of which feels the combat power of military f equipment. I, I, I do like that fragrance. Flight Simulator for Beginners. In general, I like the game. The physics of the aircraft is pretty good. The control is also convenient. <laughs> Unfortunately, the schedule, which leaves much to be desired. But I think the developer will improve it in the following updates. What? I can recommend this game for you, and I also wish good luck to the developer in further updates and improvements. A very strange... what? The schedule leaves much to be desired. What do they mean? The pacing? Because there's not much to do in a while? I don't know. <coughs> also, uh, Air Fighter is an excellent game of flying into a combat zone with good control in the game. There is not enough online. If you add online to the game, then the game will have a good future. The main goal of the game is to shoot down planes as much as possible. What an excellent thorough review, I love it. I must say, right away, that the game will most likely run on all computers. This is such a parody of War Thunder, only with planes, but for weaker PCs. The controls are pretty good, but a little tricky. In general, you can play. <laughs> I love it when I can actually play my games, I, I do like that. Also, I love how everyone says good controls, convenient controls, you know, and, and the only review that actually seems to uh, uh, to have played the game says the controls are horrible. And you can see that from the video. Uh, I must say right away that the game will most likely run on... Oh, oh no, oh, this is this one. Hello, I downloaded the game quite recently and played for a small amount of time. But I already have a positive assessment of the product. Beautiful graphics, normal physics. I hate when they'd have, you know weird physics. Good music, most likely I recommend it, especially since I bought it at a discount. What? Okay. This guy has a hundred and ninety... Okay, there's a, there's another thing I would like to mention. Uh, 2.9 at review time, 2.6 at review time, 2.4 at review time, 2.5, 2.5, 2.9, 5.1. Even this guy with 190 hours on record is 2.5 review time. I mean, it's just, maybe it's it's just me being paranoid, but it's just a little conspicuous. Who has a dream of getting aboard a plane, a military plane, with a bunch of dangerous weapons to shower your enemies with deadly airborne charges? In this game, your dream will come true. Get behind the wheel of a flying assassin and turn your enemies into a pile of metal. Or will you become one? Uh, an actual good English review, but, but some of this stuff Sometimes I find such gems uh, in the queue. I love it. I, I do love it. And uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think is going on with this. I especially do like this. It's a free 
a 3D game and then you have to pay for it. But hey, you know, if it was 3D, I can say, yeah, fine. I'm not really interested in, but hey, you know, it's interesting. But yeah, the reviews. And sometimes you get across a game whose uh, English description is so broken, it's just awesome. I love it. And I might bring you more of that, because I think it's quite uh, amusing. Anyway, I hope you're having a good time. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.